Agriculture, a long history that goes hand in hand with the history of evolution. Around 15,000 years ago, as human beings, we started to understand that the plants we sowed carried differences between them, differences between crops that could be selected and used to our advantage. In China, farmers recognized these differences and isolated individuals they wanted to reproduce. In Mexico and Central America, Mayans and Olmecs were selecting the longest individuals from a grass that was born in their area. Over the years and generations, that pasture ended up becoming the corn we know today. This was just the beginning of a technique that lasts until today, breeding. Bacteria, fungi, animals and plants carry information that makes us who we are longer, hairier, with many eyes or colorful. The genetic variety of living beings on the planet defines us. And DNA mutations across generations is the life force that moves us forward. There are many reasons why mutation can happen. For example, you can induce a mutation or it can happen spontaneously. And spontaneous mutations do occur in nature. One of the reasons some of those occur is actually UV radiation from the sun, which is a, a natural mutagen. So nature does create its own mutations um, throughout life. When we, as a species, discovered how to induce mutations, that proved incredibly useful in many domains. In this case, even for chrysanthemums, one of the most famous ornamental flowers around the world. Chrysanthemums uh, are part of the Asteraceae family. They're one of the biggest families in flowers and they basically are commonly star-shaped flowers. El origen del crisantemo es japonés. Para ese país es el producto estrella, incluso los pasaportes tiene la forma de un crisantemo. Chrysanthemums like other flowering plants reproduce sexually through pollination. Manual pollination is a technique used to control which parental lines you want to use in your crossings. Basically, you transfer the pollen plant from a donor plant into a receptive mother plant. Once we have the genetic information we want, we can transform this individual and get its color, for example, to transform into another color we desire. And this is something we can do through mutation breeding. Accidentally discovered by Wilhelm Röntgen in 1895, X-rays shook science to its core. The first X-ray shot Krunken's wife's hand, who later said, I have seen my death when she saw the photograph. So when we X-ray a chrysanthemum uh, sample, we are hoping to just cause a DNA change so that we shift from uh, one color, say lavender or pink, into another color, whether it be uh, white or yellow. We are seeking different results in chrysanthemums, different colors, different shapes, base life duration, healthy foliage. You can do the mutation breeding with the uh, X-rays, or the, but you can also use the gamma rays for it. Using radiation as a tool helps us to be more predictable, to be more successful in uh, getting the changes that we desire. As breeders, we want to speed up the process that nature could uh, take on its own, but would take many more years for it to occur. That's why we use gamma radiation or uh, x-rays. DNA is the language of life. Genes for a breeder are like the color pellets of an artist. When you induce mutations, basically you're adding new colors to your possibilities. Mm -hmm.